So there has been this really, I would say, odd, a very strange thing with Donald Trump yesterday on 9-11 and the group that he is associated with or that he was um, doing a speech as part of are also doing things on 9-11. It seems like at least maybe for the last two years they've been doing things on 9-11. And I think if if anybody is still on the fence about Donald Trump and thinking that he's a Christian or whatever else, you know, he's not. And and this is this is just going to be more proof. So, um, but you know, in my opinion, Donald Trump is if he is sent by God, he is sent by God for the purpose of testing people and seeing how easily people will be duped how easily people will fall and follow a man and not God. So we're not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So I will let you hear some of the things that Donald Trump says, and then I'll, tell you, I'll show you a few things about this organization. And I am uh, my, my, my interest in this group is peaked, so I am going to do more investigating into this group, maybe on the side. I don't want to get too much into it because there are other topics that I, I really should start reading some books for and um yeah let's just get on with this and let you hear what trump is saying and a few of these clips here i want to thank the universal peace federation and in particular dr hawk jahan moon a tremendous person for her incredible work on behalf of peace all over the world her story of escaping from north korea at five years old at the outset of the Korean War is an amazing example of the power of faith in Almighty God. I also want to thank her late husband, Reverend Moon, for founding the Washington Times, an organization for which I have tremendous respect and admiration. I want to thank the Universal Peace Federation and in particular... Now that... Let's just go back to where he says... um, Now first let's... Yeah, let's talk about the Universal Peace Federation. Now, who is this Universal Peace Federation? This is a group by that was founded by two Koreans. Uh, one was named Sun. <laughs> I believe that was his first name, Sun. So Reverend Sun Yoon Moon. Anyway, you see in his name, Sun and Moon. I know those are probably popular Korean names, but you got to have eyes to see also. So this Universal Peace Federation, this guy, Sun, this is called him Sun Moon, is the uh, one of the founders. There he is there. And they claim to be Christians. Now, I, I doubt that. I, I believe if, even if they are Christians, they're probably Catholic. But... When I look at everything else surrounding this cult, which is which they are, they are a cult. I don't see anything Christian about it. But unfortunately, people are so easily accept if you say you're Christian. Every, everybody's like, oh, okay, yeah, great, you're a Christian. Especially the non-Christian people, they're too, you know, they don't look at it and say, well, that guy doesn't look like a Christian to me. Uh, so anyway, so he says... Oh, it is the story about this guy says that Jesus appeared to him as he was praying in the Korean mountains. In that vision, Jesus asked him to continue the work that he had begun early in the nearly 2,000 years ago or 2,000 years before. Complete the task of establishing God's kingdom on earth and bringing peace to humankind. God, <laughs> Jesus, basically Jesus took the job that he was going to do and gave it to this guy's son, Moon. And so this guy had an angel appear to him. It wasn't Jesus. He had an angel appear to him and told him to complete the uh, establishing of God's kingdom on earth. Well, he might he might be lying. He maybe he didn't even see an angel at all. He could be lying through his teeth. So he discovered, he went out to discover the meaning of the unusual call. If Jesus called him to complete his mission, it meant Jesus' mission was incomplete. Jesus' mission was incomplete. This blasphemous, anyway. Was not salvation through the cross 
all that mankind, all the humankind needs, what was it that Jesus had left undone on earth? If sin is not completely solved, then what is the actual root of sin? <laughs> it says he ceaselessly studied the Bible, but you know, I don't, I don't think so. So I'm just basically going to be looking for the um, Catholic connection here. On several occasions, he was guided directly by Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, and Muhammad, <laughs> Buddha, and other saints. <laughs> they got Buddha and Muhammad listed with saints here. And sages of all faith who, who met him in spirit and contributed to his understanding of God. This man had all kind of unholy things around him. Okay, I don't have a whole lot of time to go through all of this. Um, I got to look at it again later. So we are going to move on. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just going to point that out real quick. Got Mary back there with her arms spread and these people under her wings. But, you know, anyway, let's go listen to some more of this again because I forgot one of the points that I wanted to make. And in particular, Dr. Hawk. Jahan Moon, a tremendous person for her incredible work on behalf of peace all over the world. Her story of escaping from North Korea at five years old at the outset of the Korean War is an amazing example of the power of faith in Almighty God. Okay, he says that he, he really believes, basically, that she is serving the Almighty God. So if this doesn't tell you that he doesn't know who God is, I don't know what will. Oh, I think there were some more clips from this. Um, let's see here. What else? Who is this? TFGs. All right, I'm going to check. I'm not sure which video it was that I was looking for. The inspiration that they've caused for the entire planet is unbelievable and I congratulate you again and again in less than one lifetime they took a war-torn land and turned it into one of the great nations and great democracies of the world while standing as America's friend and ally <coughs> their example reminds all of us who strive for peace and for a better future that we should never give up and never ever lose hope with faith in God and love of our fellow citizens, let us work together to achieve a brighter and more brilliant tomorrow. Thank you. God bless you all. Okay. And this is the right one. Is this one I'm looking for? Okay. Anyway, they, they do some cultish stuff when they welcome this lady out. <laughs> These, these people are not Christians, man. These people are not Christians. Could not fully embrace true parents' work, and many challenges arose. And God's will for America is for America to embrace the world. And because true parents understood the importance of America in God's providence, for 40 years, true parents invested everything so that America could fulfill its mission and fulfill its responsibility before heavenly parent as the eldest son nation. For 40 years, true parents have continuously blessed America. And contrary to the era of the great Atlantic civilization, in the era of the Pacific Rim civilization, it will be characterized by interdependence, mutual prosperity, universal values. It will bring together leaders, peace-loving citizens, religious leaders, and peace associates. Peace-loving citizens and leaders are coming together and participating in this initiative.
Now, um, let's look at some more from this this group called the uh, I forgot already the um, Unification Federation. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. What is it again? Universal Peace Federation. Okay, there we go. Now, this woman here is the spiritual advisor to Donald Trump. Her name is Pastor Paula White. Okay, anyway, she's the spiritual advisor. So what comes out of her mouth is what goes into Donald Trump's ears and probably what he believes. The work of the UPF continues, and that is correct. See, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to the beginning because this is full of people who are not Christian, have no business being, or we have no business being un, unequally yoked with. Three seconds without hope. Even in this virtual environment, we can feel connected because we share a common heart. This meeting that you're now engaged in is an important step, frankly, at a time when the world's very troubled. The world will be better when we commit to building on the common ground. Okay, I'm going to stop here just in case there's a copyright claim on it. If I break it up some, it may not get uh, a claim. So I'm just going to take pauses so we can do this. Because, I'm, you know, fair use doesn't exist on YouTube. As one human family. It's so important that we as clergy stand firm in God's love. The work of the UPF continues, and that is a credit for the dedication of Dr. Moon. Dr. Moon has devoted ceaseless efforts to bring together stakeholders from all realms of society. I just think the names of these people, Sun and Moon, are just to telling. Okay, I guess they're showing the faces of these people who are up here. Oh, yes, and Donald Trump is one was one of the speakers. So he's all on board with the one world religion and government and all of that. Again, this was on September 11. 2021 that was yesterday or I should say last night at 8 30 p.m. now um, let's look at their their introduction from the Universal Peace Federation UPF had its inaugural assembly on September 12, 2005 at the Lincoln Center in New York City. Reverend Sun Myung Moon delivered the keynote address. In closing, I ask you to devote your best efforts for the development and the success of the Universal Peace Federation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm just pausing again for copyright reasons and also just to, again, reaffirm to everybody that the Bible says that people will come saying, I am Christ, and that they will deceive many. And it's going to be movements like these that are going to lead so many people down the, the, the path to destruction. series of world tours where the message of UPF was taken literally to every corner of the world. That it is a time for all nations and religions to break down their barriers uh, through... Okay. <laughs> I had to stop right there and replay that part. But... You know, it's just so, my heart goes out to these people because a lot of them are earnestly seeking God. And, but, you know, I believe, I truly believe that if anybody, anybody who truly earnestly seeks God, though they may go astray 
and they may fall into a coat like this, God will, he knows they are seeking him, and he will meet them, and he will deliver them out of it. So although I am troubled to see many people fall, and many people who I wish would be converted and really believe the gospel, I really hate to see them fall into these coats and into these traps by Satan and his ministers of, of uh, righteousness. At the same time, I still have faith and hope in God that he will not let anybody who is genuinely, earnestly seeking God be destroyed. of one family under God will arrive and last forever. See, here's the thing. It's only all these other religions are inclusive, right? You know, you have the Hindus with their thousands of gods and you have Buddha, you know, most a lot of these other ones who are pantheistic where God exists in nature. And it's only really the Christians that say, no, there's only one way. And you can't, it's the narrow path, it's not the white path. You can't have any other gods before him. And he's, there's only one, you must believe in him, Jesus Christ. That he came, God manifest in the flesh. That he gave his life on the cross, died and rose again the third day for the remission of our sins. And we must believe in him. And that's the only way. You can't go in with any other gods, any other philosophies, or any other belief systems. So we're just we're going to be the ones who are kicked out of their kingdom. <laughs> you know, they're going to kick us out of their kingdom. repeatedly of an international peace highway connecting the world from Santiago, Chile to London across the Bering Strait, what has come to be known as the Peace Road and a vision for a renewed United Nations. UPF emerged on the foundation of decades of programs initiated by its founders and carried out in all parts of the world. Its growth and development over the past 15 years has been dramatic if not miraculous, owing in large part to the work of tens of thousands of ambassadors for peace. And this is darkness masquerading as light, ministers of unrighteousness masquerading as angels of light, or being transformed into angels of light. Sad to see, but um, let's keep continue on. Okay, let's move. You got Newt Gingrich. You got all these people who are in our government and they are posing as Christians sometimes. They're or conservatives or whatever. And they are all anti-Christ. And they can be from one group, the U.S. Uh, Universal Federation for Peace, or they could be from a United Religions Initiative or whatever. But these different groups, they're all sort of working toward the same goal. Okay, that's the sun symbol. Um, anyway, everybody, that should be enough to demonstrate the point. Going back to Donald Trump again. If you have questions, any questions about, uh, or if you have any thoughts that Donald Trump may still be a man sent by God or whatever to, to, and that you should follow him, then, you know, just get those thoughts out of your head. He is just another piece of their system. That's it. And, but he's doing his job in dividing people and, and, and leading us closer to that one world 
government. So, so maybe I should just wrap it up there. So thank you all for listening. And I guess before I go, please watch the last video I had on September, the September rituals, and also the video on Gaia, the the AI image of the beast, and those two videos. So I'll put links to them in the description and after this video and yep that's it so thank you all for watching and listening and may our lord jesus christ bless you